Hello friends, and welcome back to another video. Please subscribe if you have not done yet and let's begin. When you move into a new home or a new apartment, you really don't know what you're going to get. Most of the times you find things that the previous tenant fixed, or made it seem like it was fixed but broke the moment you laid eyes on it. There was a secret in the building that injured user DemC7 had just moved into. At first, DemC7 had no way of knowing what was lying beneath his new apartment. All he knew for sure was that he had everything he needed, including the essentials, like the high ceilings in his kitchen and living room. For an old building, everything in the apartment had plenty of space, including the bedroom. Between the ground and first floor was a mezzanine, which allowed him to safely secure his bed. Of course, he called it more of a bunk bed than a bedroom, but it still looks roomy, comfy, and oh so cozy. He was so happy to have finally finished unpacking and putting everything where it needed to go. Then he decided to start documenting his new place by taking some photos, which included the shower room, which he called nice, functional shower room. Although the space was quaint, it would serve its purpose. There was just one little thing that caught his attention after taking the photo of the shower room. There was some kind of door, and it was on the floor. This was a pretty unusual thing to find in an apartment, and his curiosity grew. So he knelt and took a closer look to see if perhaps there was a way to open it. It didn't take long for him to see a nice copper hatch that was on the side of the door. This wasn't in the lease, he thought. The question was, what on earth would he find down there if he managed to open it? He wasn't sure, but he definitely wanted to find out, so he decided to go for it and open the hatch. Now, you'd figure that most hidden hatches would be closed and have some kind of a lock. It turns out that the hatch was unlocked, which meant that he was able to open it easily. So he reached for the handle, lifted it, and pulled. Now it was time to see what, if anything, was hidden underneath the floor. What he found was not nearly as terrifying or as exciting as what he had originally expected to find. Oh, a bit of an underfloor storage for some tools and old paint cans, he mentions. It was hardly enough to bat an eyelash. But something made him want to inspect the newly found compartment a bit further, just in case. It's not like he was expecting to find gold or a dead body, but a secret lair only happens in the movies. Then he noticed there was more to the compartment, as in a secret passage right under his apartment. But anything could have been down there, and he was eager to find out where this would end up leading him to. Well, it turns out that it really was what it seemed to be, as in a staircase towards a secret room. The walls were made of brick, and it was dusty, but it didn't seem like anyone had been in this space for quite a while. Now he had to muster up the courage to go down there and explore a bit further, maybe a dungeon. It turns out that it was an actual dungeon, and it seemed to stretch underneath the whole apartment. Naturally, he was a bit freaked out because it was quite an unexpected find, but he decided that he'd wait a bit, close the hatch, and call a friend first. Oh, and he wedged the bathroom door over the hatch in case someone or something tried crawling back up. Once his friend arrived, the two of them proceeded to open the hatch again and go back down. What he found were 19th century hatches and corridors that led to who knows where. One thing was certain, it was going to be tough getting through some areas, particularly those that had fallen bricks in the way. His friend went ahead of him in order to check the corridor and found something eerie. It turns out that what they both assumed was the end of the corridor wasn't. It actually stretched beyond the point where they could see. This meant they would probably have to continue exploring the underground network. Dempsey 7 hadn't noticed this at first, but when he looked at the photos, he saw a hidden space above him. There seemed to be hidden spaces in the spaces between apartments, or maybe it just seemed that way because of all the damage caused by collapsing ceiling. Either way, he and his friend aimed to investigate. The photos allowed him to admire the vaulted ceiling, which he didn't really get to do when he was there. The vaulted ceiling was located on the left side of the corridor, but he hadn't gone through the hatch. Then again, who would, given how intimidating that vast emptiness seemed to be? When he got this apartment, he wasn't expecting this kind of thrill. He assumed that no one had walked under these underground passages, but he was wrong. He found random graffiti that suggested to him and his friend the people from this decade had actually been exploring these tunnels. He was just hoping that he wouldn't run into anyone, or if he did, they'd be friendly. He realized that he was standing in some kind of basement and the space was vast. It had four walls, which he noticed were damp, and the floor was sturdy for the most part. It was spacious, so he and his friend didn't have to worry about bumping their heads into any support beams. Already, he was coming up with ideas on how he was going to use this space, if they allowed him. In the corner of the basement, he found a shape that suggested it was some kind of crypt, but it would make a great place to lay down on, or sit if he decided to throw a seriously cool dungeon party down there. 
The furnishings in the basement weren't nearly as nice as the ones in his apartment. He seriously hoped that whatever those bricks had been placed there for, it didn't involve any kind of ritual sacrifice. The truth is this really was the kind of area people could use. It just needed a little sprucing up. Dempsey 7 also found another hole in the middle of the room, but not as big as the hatch she came in through. There was sort of dirt in the hole he found, and what was eerier was the fact that the ground may have been recently disturbed, according to him. But so far, there was no sign that anyone else was here at the moment he was taking the photos. Maybe the coolest thing about this discovery was that there was only one way in or out of here. The hatch was the only way in or out of this hidden dungeon. He and his friend found no other staircases that led to other hatches. The building was supposedly a 19th century English monastery, which was turned into a 30 residential unit apartment home. And he admits he's scared to live above it alone. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe so I can bring new content every day. Take care. Bye.